Politics and Theology Late at Night with your host, John Supo. Welcome. Tonight on the show, a couple of celebrities from human evolution. Our first guest is a U primate that dates back to 55 million years ago. Hailing from North America, in what is now Wyoming, please welcome Dryo Mommies. You're looking rather human to be a U primate that's millions of years old. I had an operation, Johnny. I think they botched it. Yeah. So what is a U primate? You primates were the first mammals that shared characteristics with modern primates. Things like forward-facing eyes and a relatively large brain case. So if you are one of the first primates, what did you evolve from? These little, insect-eating, shrew-like creatures. Cool. When did you live? About 55 million years ago. I weighed less than 4 ounces. You've put on a bit of weight. Yeah, don't remind me. I'm not the earliest known primate though, you know? Really? What was the earliest primate? A thing called Purgatorius, from 65 million years ago. How come Purgatorius couldn't make it? They had trouble reconstructing him because the only parts of him scientists have found are a couple of teeth. Ooh. Tough one. Yeah. Well, I'm a plesiadapiform. Seriously? What's a plesiadapiform? It's an extinct suborder of primates that flourished during the Paleocene. Our next guest is a hominoid. One of the first hominoids, to be exact. Please welcome Proconsul. Proconsul. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Johnny. You're looking rather human too, Proconsul. What's your secret? I have the same surgeon as dry mommies here. We look like small apes, which is what we really are. A proconsul is a small ape. Yes, Johnny. There were at least four species of the genus proconsul, but in the family Proconsulidae, there were many more species. You're the last common ancestor shared by the old world monkeys and the apes. Yes, I'm the first hominoid. What's a hominoid? A hominoid is a member of the superfamily that includes humans and all the apes. So what's a hominid? A hominid is a member of the taxonomic family that includes humans and African apes, and their immediate ancestors. Oh. Proconsul, tell us more about yourself. When did you exist? We date from the early Miocene, between 23 and 16 million years ago. Were members of your family as small as dry mommies? We ranged in size between a small monkey and something nearly as big as a gorilla. We had teeth like living apes, but below the neck we looked more monkey-like. Where did you live? We lived in Africa. Our next guest hails from Spain. Please welcome Pyrolapithecus catalonicus. Welcome to the show, Pyrolapithecus. Thanks, Johnny. It's good to be here. I guess it's safe to assume you've had surgery, too. Indeed. How long ago did your species live? About 13 million years ago. Why do you have such an odd-sounding scientific name? The first fossils of our species were found near the village of Pierola in Spain, in the Catalonia region. That's where the Catalonicus comes from. Pierola Patecus means ape from Pierola. That's interesting. So, tell us. Why are you special? Indeed I am, Johnny. I'm the last common ancestor of humans, chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. So are you a hominoid, a hominid, a hominin, or a homidudad? <laughs> you can call me a homidudad if you want to, but I'm a hominid. The hominid family includes all the African apes and humans, and their ancestors. Were you bipedal? No, not really. I was adapted for tree climbing and knuckle walking. So your arms were longer than your legs? Most likely, very similar to modern great apes such as chimpanzees and gorillas. That is so cool. Yes, it's amazing to see what we evolve into. And that's our show. Be sure to join us next time as we take you down that next big step in evolution.